All right, we're going to get into Sean T's Dig Deeper Workout. This is a new program he put together, and this is like a small trailer that he did that gives you an introduction to Dig Deeper. So I told myself I'm going to give this a try because some days I don't make it to the gym, and I would love to do something at home that's going to challenge me just as much as I would challenge myself in the gym. I've done multiple beach body workouts like P90X, um, Insanity, which is also by Sean T, which was insane, but I loved it. It definitely challenged you and pushed you. So when I seen Sean T's dig deeper and I seen that he had bulked up and put on some size, I was like, man, let me give this a try. So that's what we're gonna be doing in this video. We're gonna go through the dig deeper workout trailer and you're going to go through it with me so if you want to join me in this workout all you need is a bench and three sets of dumbbells um get your water get your tower and bring a good attitude so you can push yourself so again you need three sets of dumbbells and a bench that's all you need for this workout. I have some 15 pound kettlebells because I don't have 15 pound dumbbells. Got some 25 pound dumbbells and I also got some 35 pound dumbbells. So 15, 25, 35s. I ordered some more dumbbells just so I can have some heavier dumbbells. But right now, this is what I'm gonna use to get through the workout. So the first exercise are sumo squats. Basically, you're gonna hold the dumbbell up. You're gonna squat down. And then as you stand back up, you're gonna tighten your quads as well as your glutes. 15 repetitions. And that's gonna be the first exercise of this dig deeper workout. So nice and smooth. As you can see, I'm going down, on the way up, flex those quads and tighten your glutes. Nice and smooth, form is everything. You wanna get a comfortable weight that's gonna allow you to perform each exercise correctly. But you definitely wanna work and challenge yourself. So nice and smooth and back up, down and up. And again, you're gonna Flex your quads when you stand up and tighten your glutes. 15 repetitions, nice and smooth. And then the next exercise is gonna be the seated lateral raises. So it's gonna work the shoulders. And again, I have kettlebells, but you know, you could use dumbbells if you have them. But if you have kettlebells, they work just the same. So these are the um, seated lateral raises. You're gonna start from the down position. There you go and lift your arm up. And again, with these, as you lift the dumbbells or kettlebells up, you wanna use a motion as if you're pouring water in the glass. That's gonna make you activate other muscles in your shoulders. So this is gonna work the traps primary, delts secondary. 15 repetitions, nice and smooth. Keep working. And again, form is everything. You wanna keep good form. You don't want a super heavy weight that's gonna cause you to strain your back or uh, lose correct form. So we're doing 15 repetitions, lateral raises, seated lateral raises, nice and smooth. All right, after that, the next exercise we're gonna do are dumbbell rows. And this is gonna work your back. So again, you wanna get a weight that's gonna allow you to keep correct form. And basically, you're gonna lean forward with a straight back 
your dumbbells facing forward, almost like a bar in front of you. Like if you was at the gym using a dumb, I mean a barbell. You're gonna bring your elbows back and bring the dumbbells to your belly button. Nice and smooth, lean with the elbows first, bringing those elbows back. Nice and smooth, bringing the dumbbells to your belly button. Straight back, slight bend in the knees, good posture, good form. 15 repetitions. You're gonna let the weights hang so you can engage your lats and then bring those elbows back first. Nice and smooth. And you will feel the lats working. That's when you know you're doing it correctly. Form is everything when you're working out. You wanna keep good form at all times. That's gonna prevent injury. And after you do the dumbbell rows, so I took a, a, a quick sip of my water, but the next exercise that comes after the dumbbell rows are gonna be weighted crunches. Weighted crunches. So if you're following along on the um, with Sean T, he's not taking a break right now. I took a quick break, but the next exercise is gonna be weighted crunches. So you're gonna grab that 15 pounder and you're gonna lay back and then you're gonna do like 30 seconds of weighted crunches. Bring the knees in. And on the video, yeah, he raised the legs up, do one up and go back, bring the legs in up, reach up, back. Now, I have an issue with my lower back, so sometimes I choose just to do regular crunches instead of doing these. But if you're in perfect shape and no back issues, you can follow along with Sean T on the video and do them the way he's doing them. But never ever be afraid to switch up an exercise for safety reasons, because I don't want to hurt my back again. So I just went to regular reverse crunches with the weights. They're still just as effective. Now, those are the exercise exercises that support this first phase of the workout. And basically you're gonna do three sets of each. So we're gonna go right into round two and we're gonna start with the sumo squats again. And remember, with the sumo squats, I didn't mention this the first time, your toes are pointed outward. Squat down, and again, on your way up, squeeze those quads. You can see my quads working, and tighten your glutes. Good firm foundation with your feet on the floor. You're gonna activate those quad muscles and tighten the glutes on your way up and you're working. So there's a couple of things to focus on. Good form, squeezing those glutes on your way up and flexing those quads. We working everything, nice and smooth. Again, form is everything. We're going for 15 repetitions of these again. This is a nice, challenging workout. And I haven't done a home workout like this following somebody else in a while. Probably ever since the last time I've done the Insanity. But so far, I'm, I'm liking this. We're going back to the second exercise, which are the seated lateral raises again. Nice and smooth. You definitely want to challenge yourself. These 15s, they feel a little bit lighter, but for the purpose of this first video, I'm gonna just use what I have, nice and smooth, arms straight down, and then bring those dumbbells or kettlebells up, and act like you're pouring water in the glass when you come up. That's gonna engage multiple muscles in that shoulder. So you're working the traps, and you're working the delts. Nice and smooth, 15 repetitions. Take your time, no need to rush. And if you have to take a break, 
take a break. But the name of this is Dig Deeper. So if it starts getting a little tough on you, do what the video says, Dig Deeper. Now, we're gonna go right back into those dumbbell rows. Remember, a flat back, boom. Elbows to the rear, nice and smooth. Lead with them elbows. Extend your arms all the way down. You're gonna feel those lats engaging and bring those elbows back. And man, these feel good. Remember, dumbbells to the belly button, slight bend in the knees, good form, good posture. Don't cheat yourself. Whatever you put into your workouts, that's what you're gonna get in return. Whatever you do, we always ask for maximum effort anytime you're working out and the results will come. So after that, now we're going back into the weighted crunches. And again, if you watch this YouTube trailer, you'll see that Sean T does a reverse crunch, lift those legs up and then he reaches up. But me, I'm gonna just go straight with the reverse crunch again. You know, I have a history of lower back pain, so I don't want to do nothing to injure myself. So I'm going to do what's, what feels comfortable in regards to the weighted crunches. I'm still activating my core, keeping my core tight. And I can feel my core being worked. So again, that was about 30 seconds. And now, a water break. Again, you want to stay hydrated. Because this, this is just the first phase. There's three phases. You got that, the circuit phase. Then you got the sculpting defined phase. And then you got the build phase. So we only in the first phase of this workout. Last set, sumo squats. Boom, again, we're doing 15 repetitions, nice and smooth, no need to rush. Power through those squats, toes pointed outward, tightening your glutes when you're coming up and also squeezing those quads, engaging those quadricep muscles. You can see my quads working. I believe in giving 100% when I work out because I wanna know that I worked out. If you're going through the motions and you're not challenging yourself, you're wasting your time and you, you won't get results. So make sure you get something, a weight that's gonna allow you to challenge yourself and it's not super, super easy. So now going back to the last set of these seated lateral raises. Again, Start with your arms in a downward position, and then you're gonna bring the dumbbells or kettlebells up. And you're gonna use a motion as if you're pouring water in the glass. I like to say that because that's gonna, again, activate different muscles in your shoulders. Nice and smooth, 15 repetitions, and we are working. We are working. So far, so good. I'm, I'm liking how I feel because it's not a whole, whole lot of rest. You're going from one exercise to the next, constantly working. And that's how I do when I'm in the gym. Whatever I'm working, I don't sit around resting for too long. I go from one exercise to the next. I keep my heart rate going and I keep myself challenged. I like to work. And it'll get to the point where you know it's time to, to rest a little bit because it, when you have to rest, rest. You know, but again, I like to challenge myself, so that's what I do. All righty, we're going to the last set of the bent over dumbbell rows. Again, slight bend in the knees, a straight back. Boom, elbows lead backwards with the elbows first, with your elbows. Bring those dumbbells to your belly button. Allow the arms to hang to engage your lats and work, baby, work. Put that work in. You can feel those lats being engaged right now. I love the work that's required 
in this workout. So far, so good. And again, like I say, when I seen Sean T and he had put on some muscle, because I met him personally at a Beachbody conference one year. And like I said, I did the Insanity video quite a few times. And I was going through my YouTube channel and um, I was on YouTube and I seen this fit guy and I was like, hey, who is that? And they said, Sean T dig deeper. And I noticed he had put on muscle. I was like, whoa, he didn't got some size. And here we are doing his dig deeper workout. First time he done something as far as a weightlifting program. So, and this is just a sample right here. But again, I definitely wanted to give it a shot. All right, we doing weighted crunches. Keep that core tight and breathe. As you're bringing those knees forward, you wanna breathe. Exhaling, core tight. And that's the end of phase one. Now, we're gonna get into phase two. Now phase two is called Sculpt and Define. In this phase, we're gonna do some tricep work and some bicep work. We're gonna get these arms pumped. I'm excited to get started with this. And what am I grabbing? The 25 pounders. Again, if you could go heavier, go heavier. But this is my first time doing this, so I wanted to get a weight that's challenging, but also a weight that's not gonna cause me to sacrifice form. So the exercise, you're gonna do a V up, bring your arms together, let them down slow, up fast, out, down, slow. So that's the movement. So you're gonna go up fast, bring the elbows together, you're gonna go down slow, up fast, elbows out, down slow. That is the movement. And just remember, good form, again, up fast, squeezing at the top of each repetition, down slow, up fast, squeeze at the top, elbows together, down slow, up fast, squeeze at the top. Nice and smooth, I really feel ease already. This is something new, I never really did my arm workout at this pace, but I like it. That's that time under tension allowing the muscle and mind connection to work. Nice and slow down, up. Squeeze at the top, out, down, slow. That felt really good, I have to admit. That was something new. Never did those V-ups. And now, I grabbed a kettlebell and we're gonna do weighted dips. So this is the second exercise of the Sculpt and Define phase of this dig deeper workout. So you're gonna get a bench, you're gonna push your feet out forward. And remember, the further your feet are away from the bench, the tougher the workout is, the tougher the exercise is, the closer your feet are to the bench, the easier it is to do this particular exercise because your legs take away some of the weight. So I'm gonna I'm a do it the hard way. I'm gonna extend my feet out, slight bend in the knees, keeping my core engaged and down slow and explode upward. Down slow, explode upward. Now Sean T likes to do like a five countdown and explode up. So I was doing that as well. One, two, three, four, five and up and squeezing those tri triceps at the top of a repetition. So as you thrust upward, you're gonna squeeze at the top. Look how I'm engaging those triceps. Man, these feel good. Time under tension. Lower yourself down slow and power up. If you could go five seconds, go five. Five, four, three, two, one, up. Mind the muscle connection, I love it. 
and up. Look at the triceps working. And these felt really good. So we did some bicep work and some tricep work. That's round one, but remember, each phase, you got three rounds you're gonna have to do. Man, I feel a nice pump already. These felt really good. So, water break? Yeah, get you a little water break. Nothing wrong with cooling off for a second, but we're not wasting too much time. Hydrate, 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 and grab those weights. It's time for the second set. Back to the V-ups. And go up fast, in, down, slow. Power up, elbows out, down, slow. Power up, elbows in, down, slow. Squeezing at the top. You want to engage those bicep muscles. Make those biceps work. Make them work down slow and squeeze up, boom. Out, down slow, squeeze up. I Man, I am pumped at this point. My biceps are really working. Up, out, down slow. Power, up, together, down slow. Explode up, boom. Big biceps, man. This pump is real. And we're not wasting no time. Now we're gonna go right back to those weighted tricep dips. Get back on that bench. And you can put a dumbbell between your legs as well. I just used, like I say, the kettlebells. Next time I'll use the dumbbells. Down slow. Five, four, three, two, one. Power up. Five, four, three, two, one. Power up. Flex those triceps. Look how the triceps are engaged. Look at this pump. I love this already. Boom. Nice and smooth. Good form. Body against the bench. As I go down, lean back with the elbows first. I let the el my elbows take the lead. Lowering the body down slow and powering up. Flexing those triceps. Nice and smooth, but you're working, man. I'm feeling these. That time on the tension is serious. It really forces you to work those triceps. Again, the closer your legs are to the bench, the easier the exercise is. The farther out, the harder it is. And I, I took the hard route. But if you have to bring your legs closer to the bench, nothing wrong with that. The key is being safe, keeping good form, but giving maximum effort. Challenge yourself. And as Sean T would say, dig deeper, dig deeper. So here we go. This is the third and final set of these. Last round, down slow, power up, out. Down slow, power up, elbows together. Down slow, big biceps. Man, these really work. Time under tension. Forcing those biceps to work. Good form, but you're putting in good work as well. I'm loving this workout so far. Again, focus on good form. If you have to take a quick break, take a quick break, but then jump right back into it. But push yourself. Challenge yourself. Up. Yes, I'm feeling these. Down slow. Power up. Elbows out. Down slow. Man, oh man, oh man. This is definitely challenging and I'm getting a really good pump. My arms are pumped at this point, but I ain't no time to play around. Rest, go right into those weighted tricep dips again. And like I say, if you, the further out your legs are, the more challenging it is. The closer your legs are to the bench, the easier it is. But I'm going with my legs out. Slight bend, keeping the core engaged, down slow, power up. Five seconds down, five, four, three, two, one, boom, power up. Look at the triceps. They are fully engaged and they are working. Power up. Slow down, leading with the elbows first and power up. Down, 
power up. And then Sean T switches it up and he go three seconds down and power up. Change the rhythm of the exercise. Power up. One, two, three. Power up. One, two, three. Power up. Hold it. Squeeze it. Two, three. Power up. My goodness. My goodness. Talking about a pump. Those felt really good. That is a winning combination of V-ups. Slow down. Fast up. Power up. I love it. My arms are pumped right now. Shoulders are still pumped from the first phase. We're going to hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. And then we're going to go into phase three, the build phase. And this is when you're going to go one on one with Sean T. Man. So now in the build phase, the build phase is going to focus on your chest. So we're gonna work some chest in this build phase. So you need that bench. You're gonna put that bench at a 45 degree angle. Cause now we're gonna be focusing on the upper chest. And I got the 35 pounders I'm gonna be using, but I got me some 50 pounders on the way. So the next time I go through this, I'll be using the 50 pounders for my workout as I go through this build phase. So the first exercise we're gonna do is the incline press. You're gonna do six reps with the left arm, six reps with the right arm, and six reps together. So left arm, right arm together, or right arm, left arm together, it don't matter. And since I didn't wanna do 666 because I don't like that number, I did six, six, and seven. So I altered it a little bit. So you're gonna put your back flat against the bench. Again, bench at a 45 degree angle. Use your knees to throw those dumbbells up. And we're gonna go six. One, two, three, four. Nice and smooth. Five, six. Hold it and then other arm. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And again, I, it, on the video, Sean T goes six, six, and six, but I don't like that number, like I said. <laughs> so I go six, six, and I do seven. And man, I have to tell you, that time and attention and those alternating arms and then bringing both together for the last set of repetitions is definitely challenging. Oh, but the chest feels so good. And Sean T superset these with hex presses. So I grabbed the 25 pounders and with the hex presses, you're gonna bring both of the dumbbells together, squeeze them together as you push upward for 12 repetitions. You see, top of the chest, one, nice and smooth. Two, 12 repetitions. Three, flexing your chest at the top. Make sure you're engaging those pectoral muscles. This is how you get an outstanding chest pump. 12 repetitions. And we working, baby. We working. I love everything about this workout so far. Challenging and it's nonstop work. And press. Yes. And I can tell you what. My chest is pumped already. I'm loving it. Again, maximum effort. Whatever you put into the workouts, that's what you're gonna get out of the workouts. So don't cheat yourself. Don't cheat yourself. Quick water break. Hydrate a little bit. And guess what? It's time to get back to work. Grab those 35 pounders. Again, I can't wait to get my 50 pounders. I just ordered them. I'll be using 50 pounders next, but this is, this feels good. Again, six, right arm, nice and smooth. And then you're gonna go six with the left arm. And again, I do seven with both arms. 
on the video he got six six and six but i'm doing six six and seven nice and smooth back flat against the bench engaging those pictoria muscles and squeezing at the top there you go squeeze at the top make that chest work nice and smooth you bring the arms down parallel you don't want to drop your elbows too low you want to keep them about parallel boom put those down grab those 25 pounders or whatever weight you choose to grab and we're going back into the hex presses 12 repetitions smooth dumbbells held tightly together pressing upwards squeezing at the top to ensure you are engaging your pictorial muscles. We are working. We are working. My, 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 those feel so good. So good. Remember, just get a weight that's gonna allow you to keep good form, but it's also gonna challenge you. And show and teeth do a nice little surprise at the end of this um, workout. Okay, um, but again, we got one more set of these, and I'll tell you about the surprise after we knock out our final set of these. This is the last set, and again, give maximum effort, push through. As Sean T would say, dig deeper. Let's go. I'm feeling these right about now, but I'm working. And three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, and together, and I did seven instead of six, three, four, five, I'm feeling these, six and seven, boom, great pump, the chest is pumped, I'm even feeling it in my triceps too, secondary triceps are being worked, I'm trying to shake them out, you see that? Ooh, the pump is real. Grab those 25 pounders. And we're gonna go for those 12 hex presses. Man, stop playing and let's go to work. Squeeze those dumbbells together and press upward. Boom, explode at the top. Squeezing those pectoral muscles, engaging the chest. We are working. We are working. 12 repetitions. Not only is this working my upper chest, but I'm also feeling these in my triceps. Anytime you have any type of close grips, your triceps don't have a choice but to be engaged. So that was those 12. That was the final round of the build phase. But Sean T, being Sean T, got a nice surprise for everybody at the end. You're going to flatten that bench down. And the surprise is... I'll give you a little bonus work. You're gonna do 40 seconds of crunches, superset it with 40 seconds of push-ups. Then you're gonna do 30 seconds of crunches, and then 30 seconds of push-ups. And then you're gonna do 20 seconds of crunches and 20 seconds of push-ups. As you can see, I'm sweating. I am really sweating. That's how you know you're working. To dry that bench off, dry that ball head off, it's time to get back to work. So 40 seconds, 30 seconds, and 20 seconds. Now, Sean T is doing bicycles on the video. So again, I can't do the bicycles because of my back. So I'm still doing crunches. I'm gonna do 40 seconds of crunches. I'm doing a reverse crunch as well as raising up. And then I could go into doing um, regular crunches as long as you're working. So I'm doing crunches, 40 seconds of crunches. Sean T is doing bicycles on the video, but again, with my back issue, I can't really do the bicycles, especially on the bench. Maybe if I was on the floor, but not on the bench. But that doesn't stop me from working. Do what you have to do, but you wanna work. I'm still working my abs, still doing crunches. 40 seconds of crunches. No, 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 we're not resting. We're going straight into these push-ups. 40 seconds of that incline push-up. Incline push-ups, baby and I am working, chest is engaged, core is engaged, triceps working, shoulders secondarily working. The key word in this is work, working, working. Yes, indeed. 
this is definitely going to blast the chest, the triceps. This is outstanding. 40 seconds of push-ups. Yes, nice and smooth. Do not compromise form. If you have to take a quick break, take a quick break. Form is everything. And guess what? We're not done. Time to go into 30 seconds of crunches. Keeping that core engaged. Let's go. As we say in Louisiana, let's go. And I'm doing my reverse crunches again. Lifting up. So I'm engaging my four full abdomen, working the upper abs, lower abs, as well as the obliques. 30 seconds of crunches, and I'm giving maximum effort. There we go, the regular crunch. I don't care which crunch variation you choose to use, as long as you're working. You ain't done yet. We're going right into 30 seconds of push-ups. Again, you could go shoulder width apart to do these push-ups, or you could go close grip push-ups, as long as you're doing push-ups. Because I'm telling you right now, these push-ups are challenging. I am working. I am feeling this. I'm feeling it in my chest. I'm feeling it in my triceps. This is an outstanding combination that's going to challenge you. Give maximum effort. Don't quit on yourself. If you have to take a quick break, take a quick break. But remember to dig deeper. Last set. 20 seconds. 20 seconds now. 20 seconds of crunches, but again, on the video, Sean T is doing bicycles, which are outstanding. They work really well, but again, due to my back issues I've had in the past, I can't do the bicycles, but I'm doing reverse crunches. I'm doing regular crunches. You know, I, I push myself because I refuse not to put the work in. Last 20 seconds of push-ups. Incline push-ups, 20 seconds. Let's go. Boom, they are burning. That's why I got them fire emojis showing because everything is on fire right now. The chest, the tries, shoulders, my core. I am working, I love it. Push, push, push. Do not quit on yourself. Wow, wow, wow. That, I have to say, look at the pump. Look at the pump. The chest is pumped. The thighs are pumped. The tries are pumped. The abs are tight. I mean, this was a full body workout. Look at the legs. The legs are still pumped. And we did legs in the first phase. And now I'm just going to stretch it out. I would have to say, if you're a person that loves to work out like I do, but you can't make it to the gym, this is highly recommended. This is highly recommended. Sean T, brother, two thumbs up. And as you've seen at the bottom, if you want to support a veteran-owned business, the tank top I'm wearing is from Anchored in Christ Apparel. Go to anchoredinchristapparel.com. Show your support. It's a veteran-owned business, and your support would be greatly appreciated. 10 out of 10 for this workout, folks. 10 out of 10. I really appreciate you guys going through this workout with me. Don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to the channel. Share this video with family and friends. Do the workout together with family and friends. I really appreciate you guys watching. Again, dig deeper the workout by Sean T. What can I say? This is a winner, 10 out of 10. Be blessed and stay